Hello everybody, in this video, I will draw some conclusion about iOS. The iOS part, and for non-UPMC uh, students, the courses, is finished. It was a rather long, rather dense uh, trip, but it's yet incomplete. And there are uh, remaining items to be uh, discussed. Uh, Several big stuff like OpenGL for graphics and OpenAL for audio, creating audio, I would say, and also audio video edition. There are frameworks for that. You also have Hairplay, and I didn't mention in details push notification also. There are also several dedicated frameworks Apple Pay, PhotoKit, EarthKit, HomeKit, CloudKit, on off. CarPlay, SendKit for 3D representation, useful in games, SpriteKit, very useful in games too, for 2D representation, and also Metal for advanced graphic with the use of the movement coprocessor, so with a quite low energy consumption. And of course, this is changing every year, not only the main framework of iOS, but also the frameworks that are dedicated to some functions supported in iOS. By the way, uh, this evolution also concerns Android. So, uh, we prob probably could spend a few weeks for each of these frameworks, so it's too large. However, the main aspects have been studied, and you know how to build an application. You know how to create professional applications. Some of the exercises I show you are close to application. You can push on the App Store. Okay. You know how to navigate in the fantastic manual. And you'll need it because things are changing very fast. And you can look at the depth of code, uh, whether, whatever in, in, in the internet, or go to Stack Overflow. These resources are useful. But to be honest, when you look at one resource, please carefully check when this resource was published. Okay? And always come back to the reference manual. That is safe and usually up to date. And also you did practice. It's very important for me the notion of flying hours. Okay? How much time have you practiced your heart? Okay? And you should have processes and reflexes and it's important. So now you can go. You can go. You can decide if you go to Swift or to Objective C. Probably Swift, but no, do not neglect Objective C because there are a huge amount of legacy code in Objective C. Okay? Will you choose kindergarten mode, geek mode, visual format language? This is up to you. My choice is there. Okay? Will you use ARC or not? This is less and less a question, by the way, because now with Swift you cannot deactivate ARC, so you can use it. I wanted you to deactivate it because it was a way to put your attention on the fact that memory is something very important. And it's even more important because in some environment you don't have high-level services to help you to deal with memory. One more and last thing. Now we are attacking Android for UPMC students only, mainly because it's in French and we couldn't perform the translation. But for French-speaking students, maybe uh, we could post some resources uh, for them to have a look at this. Uh, you will be under the responsibility of Etienne Renault, and uh, the evaluation will be done via a project. Reminder about the grading, the exam, 65%, iOS only, everybody will do this exam. Uh, the exercise of uh, on iOS, 10% only, and 25% of Android, of the Android project. Given that, of course, for non-UPMC people, you will be uh, uh, evaluated on this part too, and there will be uh, put this uh, percentage uh, up to a total of 100%.
So it was a pleasure to have you. Good luck in the development of your applications. Good luck in your exams and in your further studies if you have not yet finished. See you later. Thank you.